people told to get out of the fire zones are now returning home. Moments ago, Napa County lifted evacuations for areas around Partrick Road. Earlier in Sonoma County, good news for people in the Oakmont neighborhood south of Highway 12 and homes just east of Sonoma. But one man in the Woodside neighborhood never left. KPIX 5's Jackie Ward is live in Santa Rosa with his incredible story. Jackie? Liz, it is so nice to bring you to a neighborhood in Santa Rosa that is still intact, that still has its home standing. As we know, this is one of the lucky spots. And for the people who live here, they are finally home. Love your daddy so much. Finally reunited. This family is back together after nine long days apart. I've yet to even draw a tear yet because I've been in survival mode. And uh, until they were home, it didn't feel complete. So it's starting to feel complete. And uh, yeah, time to let go and let it all sink in. For James Swinger, his wife Jocelyn, and their two year old daughter Leah, their nightmare is over. Around 1 30 Monday morning, James told Jocelyn to take Leah and go to Sacramento while he stayed behind. We had no cell service, and, um, you know, I'm driving along the roads with people trying to flee and fires on the hill, and it was chaotic. Reluctantly, she listened to James. I was mad at him at first. For not going with us, but then it ended up he really did so much to help the neighborhood. James took it upon himself to sleep in his car at the fire station down the street for a couple days so he could keep an ear out for what was happening in his neighborhood. 57 homes, people, each one of our neighbors have lived here for 40 plus years. We're like the new kids on the block, so a lot of, uh, a lot of love. Then, once the cell tower was fixed, through Facebook, James gave his neighbors a much needed peace of mind and was able to let them know if their home was still standing. He also fed a few of the pets that were left behind. As soon as the evacuation was lifted in Woodside yesterday, James took his daughter's easel and wrote a message to welcome his neighbors home. That she was painting the day before right here in the lawn as we did yard work. Beautiful day before the, the hell. So since I've been here reporting on these fires for, you know, the past nine or ten days, this has got to be one of the clearest days in Santa Rosa that I've experienced. Lots of blue skies, actually some fresh air breeze once in a while, but that doesn't mean that there aren't potentially very harmful toxins floating in the air, as we've been mentioning. So the Department of Health here in Sonoma County has some warnings for people. We'll tell you about them coming up at 6. In Santa Rosa, Jackie Ward, KPIX 5.